It has never been done in New Mexico. Now the city and the county are ready to spend millions on a state-of-the-art project they hope gets the most chronically homeless off the streets for good. News 13's Chris McKee is live downtown with details. Chris. Yeah, Dean, the idea is to finally build an all-in-one 24-7 campus-like housing complex where people live while also getting medical and social services they need on site. It's one of Albuquerque's biggest issues, and local leaders are about to try something different. This is going to be huge for our communities. That could be the game changer in ending homelessness. It's going to be so impactful. Bernalillo County is partnering with Albuquerque City Government to build a $4 million homeless housing project. Katrina Hotram Lopez oversees County Behavioral Health Services and says the 40 unit apartment style complex would be a first of its kind, offering permanent housing with on site professional professional medical and social help for the homeless who are often mentally ill or dealing with substance abuse. What we intend to do here is have more intensive case management and supports for these individuals that they can access 24 hours a day. It's a way for us to really help folks stay housed, thrive, you know, succeed. Lisa Uval with the city says similar full service housing projects work in communities like Denver. House um, folks with serious behavioral health issues who need housing and on-site supportive services to really be successful. The city and the county are asking for a developer to figure out the best site for the housing project, and those ideas are due in less than two weeks. This is a good investment. County Commissioner Maggie hart Stebbins says the project is the right next step. We can't keep going down the same path that we've been on for years. We're beginning to see there has to be an investment that will eventually have a really significant payoff. Now the city says so far no one has submitted proposals yet about how to build this project, but they do expect to get some of those proposals in as the deadline approaches. They also say it is too early to tell when any future facility could open. Dean. All right, Chris, thank you. All of the money for this project comes from taxpayers. The county's $2 million share is from the voter-approved sales tax increase for mental health programs.